Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial from Biology with Shalini and in this video we are going to talk about fatty acid synthesis part 1. So in my today's video I will be talking till acetyl coenzyme A sh shuttle system. So if you guys remember I have told you that fatty acid consists of a long hydrocarbon chain and a terminal carboxylic group and they predominantly have even number of carbon atoms okay so fatty acid synthesis part one let's begin with it it is synthesized fatty acid is synthesized by the condensation of two carbon units in the form of acetyl coenzyme a okay acetyl coenzyme a has two carbons in it so fatty acid ka synthesis jo hota hai acetyl coenzyme a ki wajah se hota hai or we can say that it acts as a precursor for fatty acid synthesis if i draw the uh, representation schematic representation of this fatty acid synthesis then i shall write like this like acetyl coenzyme a plus nadph okay they will lead to the formation of fatty acids right this NADPH we are getting it from pentose phosphate pathway and this pathway is going on in cytosol right cytosol so this is also crucial for the formation of fatty acids without NADPH and without acetyl coenzyme A will not be able to form fatty acids now it occurs in cytosol of both prokaryotes and eukaryotes and in case of plants it occurs in chloroplast that is in stroma right or ye acetyl coenzyme a se aata hai? it is formed from pyruvate and pyruvate is the end product of glycolytic pathway or glycolysis if you guys remember glycolysis i'll make a separate video don't worry about it so glycolysis में क्या होता है ग्लूकोज इज राइट इसका स्प्लिट कर दिया जाता है पैरोवेट में और ग्लूकोज इज अ सिक्स कार्बन मॉलिक्यूल और यहां पर हमको कितने दो पैरोवेट मिलेंगे एंड दीज आर थ्री कार्बन एक पैरोवेट जो है वो थ्री कार्बन मॉलिक्यूल है राइट right? तो टोटलिटी में हमको ग्लूकोज का एक मॉलिक्यूल जो है वो कन्वर्ट होके वो स्प्लिट होके क्या बना रहा है दो पायरोवेट बना रहा है और एक पायरोवेट जो है वो थ्री कार्बन स्ट्रक्चर है ऑल राइट सो ये पायरोवेट जो है वो लेटर ऑन एसिटाइल कोएंजाइम ए बनाता है दिस विल फॉर्म एसिटाइल कोएंजाइम ए एंड दिस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एसिटाइल को एंजाइम ए अकर्स इन माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया राइट I have this part is clear, right? So acetyl coenzyme A is formed from pyruvate, pyruvate which is formed in cytosol because glycolysis or glycolytic pathway happens in cytosol. So this pyruvate will migrate from cytosol to mitochondria and in mitochondria it will form acetyl coenzyme A, right? acetyl coenzyme A and ye acetyl coenzyme A will form what? Fatty acid. Now acetyl coenzyme A is impermeable to inner membrane of mitochondria. Okay, so what do you understand by it? This process is uh, not very much complicated but little bit you have to remember that see fatty acid synthesis it starts from acetyl coenzyme A and NADPH and this process is going on in uh, cytosol of both prokaryotes and eukaryotes, right? So what is happening? Acetyl coenzyme A is getting formed from pyruvate, right? And this pyruvate is the end product of glycolysis, right? And this glycolysis means this pyruvate is getting formed in cytosol. So this cytosol, uh, this pyruvate will migrate from cytosol to mitochondria uh, like this. This is glycolytic pathway, end product is 
pyruvate and this process is going on in cytosol later on this pyruvate will migrate from cytosol to mitochondria and mitochondrial membrane is permeable to pyruvate so this will not be a problem for the migration of pyruvate from cytosol to mitochondria okay once it reaches in mitochondria it starts forming acetyl coenzyme a right and acetyl coenzyme a will move into cytosol and will form fatty acid but the problem is acetyl coenzyme a is not permeable to mitochondrial inner membrane right acetyl coenzyme a is not permeable to inner membrane of mitochondria तो इसको यहाँ से मूव करने के लिए इट नीड्स टू गेट मॉडिफाइड सो आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस टुडे ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ फैटी एसिड सिंथेसिस सो दिस इज अ सिंपल डायग्राम यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट पायरुवेट विच इज द एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ व्हाट ग्लाइकोलिसिस राइट दिस विल दिस इज फ्रीली परमिएबल टू माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया सो इट विल मूव इन mitochondria and here this group you know this carbon will get released in the form of carbon dioxide and we know that respiration ka product kya hai carbon dioxide we release this carbon as carbon dioxide okay and this oxidized acetyl group right this oxidized two carbon molecule is called acetyl group after the removal of this carbon right this leftover oxidized carbon is called uh, carbon group is, is called as acetyl group right so what happens that after this this is the first step then later on nadh and h positive will be formed and then coenzyme a will be added right and this acetyl group a and this coenzyme a will form acetyl coenzyme a here this should be clear to you i have written it in a different color this structure this is acetyl group and this is coenzyme a so acetyl coenzyme a right we also uh, say uh, or sometimes we also call acetyl coenzyme a as a carrier molecule why carrier molecule because it is carrying acetyl group right so acetyl coenzyme a is also called as carrier molecule and uh, as i have told you that carbon glucose is six carbon molecule right and hum log do pyruvate bana rahe hain which is a three carbon molecule totality mein kya hai wo six carbon jo hai wo retain reh raha hai but that glucose is split into pyruvate right so yahan par एक ही पायरवेट बताया है सो so, यहां पर आपको सिंपली क्या लग रहा है ये थ्री कार्बन दिस थ्री कार्बन पायरोवेट राइट एंड प्रोडक्ट इज टू कार्बन एसिटाइल कोएंजाइम ए बिकॉज एक कार्बन इज गेटिंग रिलीज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो इन टोटैलिटी सिक्स कार्बन ग्लूकोज इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड इन टू और इज गेटिंग स्प्लिट इन टू टू पायरोवेट एंड ईच पायरोवेट इज थ्री कार्बन मॉलिक्यूल राइट और यहाँ पर टू पायरवेट इफ वी सी टू पायरवेट राइट दे आर गेटिंग इन टू माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया सो टू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड आर गेटिंग रिलीज राइट सो यहाँ पर वन टू थ्री फोर सो आउट ऑफ सिक्स फोर आउट ऑफ सिक्स कार्बन ऑफ ग्लूकोज टू विल बी रिलीज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड फोर विल बी रिटेन्ड in acetyl coenzyme a two acetyl coenzyme a right two molecule banenge acetyl coenzyme a ke and ek acetyl coenzyme a mein kitna hai do carbon hai to totality mein char carbon jo hai wo retain reh jayenge okay so this is acetyl coenzyme a shuttle system right acetyl coenzyme a is not freely permeable to inner membrane of mitochondria right and fatty acid synthesis is going to take place in cytosol so it needs to be migrated from mitochondria to cytosol so what will happen ye mitochondria mein you guys know that uh, a tca cycle is also happening is also going on in 
mitochondria so one of its intermediate product is oxaloacetic acid this is the end product uh, intermediate pro product of tca cycle so once it gets combined with acetyl coenzyme a they will form citrate now this citrate will move from mitochondria to cytosol and it is permeable so it won't get any problem now citrate mein citrate synthase enzyme will help in it right citrate synthase enzyme with the help of this enzyme citrate will get converted into oxaloacetic acid and acetyl coenzyme a will also be formed ye citrate jo hai wo split ho jayega into acetyl coenzyme a and oxaloacetic acid because it was formed with two with these two only right to ye split ho jayega and this is an energy requiring step so atp will be used okay and this acetyl coenzyme a will be later on used as in fatty acid synthesis okay so oxaloacetic acid will needs to convert needs to converted into needs to get converted into pyruvate right so it will occur in these two steps first oxaloacetic acid will be converted into malate and enzyme will be malate dehydrogenase right and then later on this malate will be converted into pyruvate right and here enzyme used is nad p linked malate enzyme right and in this step nadph will be produced so this nadph will be used in fatty acid synthesis also right so this pyruvate now will move to mitochondria and this is also going to be also uh, again going to be an uh, energy requiring step so atp will be used and the pyruvate will be converted into oxaloacetic acid and the process will continue right so this is all about uh, acetyl coenzyme a shuttle system and in my next video i'll talk about the pathway and then later on about the beta oxidation of fatty acid so do subscribe to my channel if you haven't and keep on watching my videos and yeah study well thank you